Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Code Karen. Welcome to r slash relationship advice, where we have an incredible story with comments and an update. If you are new to this channel, a sub would be great. Tap that notification bell. Let's jump right in. I just found out gifts my girlfriend bought me and her friends are paid for with money that men online have been giving to her. My girlfriend and I have been dating for four years and recently bought a house together. The relationship has been going really well. Or so I thought. We are both into our careers and have a super busy lifestyle. We work full-time jobs and are financially stable. But something has been bothering me big time for the past week. It's hard to talk about and maybe I've been in denial for a while. But I recently found out that my girlfriend has an online side gig. Not just any gig. It's some weird thing where rich men get their kicks by giving financial control of their money to other women. I'm not making this up. She has been buying gifts for me and her friends using other people's credit cards. These men are willingly giving her access to their credit cards. Some of them even gave her cash gifts. I don't know if I should be shocked or disgusted. She covered up the sudden cash flow by saying she got an inheritance from a relative overseas. She's originally from Russia. But recently, she had to come clean with me. She confessed to what she's been up to only because the wife of one of her clients found out about the gift giving and is threatening legal action against all the women who have been taking money from her husband. Pretty sure the money she used to buy my gift, a new BMW, was with money she earned from this sketchy online work. I gotta be honest, this online gig is awful and it makes me sick. I wish I never found out about this other side of her personality. She told me she is no longer doing online work, but not sure if I believe her. Does this count as cheating? Should I sell the car? I no longer enjoy driving it, and I'm not comfortable with the idea of just receiving money from strangers. It feels wrong. My girlfriend told me not to be so uptight and rigid. So, I need some relationship advice. I can't go to my friends or family because I am embarrassed and afraid they'll tell me to leave my girlfriend. But I love her. We bought a house and plan to spend the rest of our lives together. Or will we? Let's head to the comments. 8 Arendus Thread 8 says, Hmm, what a dilemma to have. So, it's definitely a problem that she lied to you. But in general, being a financial domination chick is like living the dream, man. And I love that she used the money to buy presents for people. It stinks that she didn't tell you about this from the get-go, and that would really bother me too. But my bigger issue with her is the lying more than the activity itself. I feel like cheating is whatever is outside of the stated boundaries of your relationship, and probably lying about having relationships like this would count. I understand why she didn't feel like she was cheating, but I also understand why you would feel that way. Dude, no matter what you do, keep the car. Why not? These wealthy guys are paying her to take their money because it's what they are really into. It gives them happiness and joy. There's nothing unethical about keeping or enjoying the money that they want to give away. Also, don't worry about the wife. She might be able to sue her husband, but not you guys. Groot Suit Riot says, Yep, she got caught while engaging in financial domination. Hard to get around that one. You have to come to grips with the fact that your sweetheart, your one and only, your beloved, has been fulfilling the needs of men online who pay her for the privilege of her online company. It doesn't require her to engage in any intimacy, but it's still edgy work. And more importantly, she did it secretly and behind your back. Personally, I consider it cheating. If she is going to engage in this online side hustle, as you refer to it, it needs to be known and accepted by both partners. No exception. You can stay with her if you are comfortable with the situation. It doesn't guarantee she will do anything else. 
it might even be beneficial for both of you. As for me, if my partner engaged in this secretive type of activity and we were in an exclusive relationship, I'd lose a lot of trust and respect for my partner. Mini update. I must be living under a rock because I never heard of the word findom. Findom is just another form of escapism for people who struggle with everyday life in this bizarre cash and self-obsessed materialistic world that we live in. I gotta talk to more people in the know before I make a do I stay or do I go decision about my relationship. I'll update you in a few days. Educational Energy 48 says, I didn't like the fact that she hid that side of her life from you and lied about where she was getting the money. Having said that, I also don't like that you're so extremely judgmental about the online side hustle itself. I'm with you on her lying. Your disappointment is totally warranted. Fendom is just something some people are into. Let's not shame others for what others enjoy. You made a subjective moral judgment when you described this behavior as, quote, this is awful. This, however, is not a fact. It's just your opinion. If your moral compass tells you otherwise, you don't have to accept her gifts. Return everything she gave you if that makes you feel better. However, don't sell the car and profit from it. Return it to her. Otherwise, you're being hypocritical by judging her for taking these people's money and then taking money yourself. Findom is a legitimate way some people make money. If you're not comfortable with it, then you guys are not compatible. You shouldn't be forced to accept what you find unacceptable, and you shouldn't force her to stop her from making money this way if that's what she wants. There are some more people than you know whose partners are fully aware and fully supportive of this lifestyle. Your longtime girlfriend should not have kept it a secret and lied about it. I will also add that your morally superior attitude about the source of the money isn't warranted either. I would gladly switch positions with you. Trashman8901 says, Based on your mini update, I am assuming your girlfriend likes the finer things in life and enjoys being spoiled. You said no intimacy was involved, but there was an exchange of, quote, goods and services on some level, which is creepy to me. It's obvious she lied about where the money came from and never told you what she was doing. It's safe to assume she felt that what she was doing was something you would not approve of. Only you can answer all the questions you have asked. If you are uncomfortable with the car, then get rid of it. If you don't think you can trust her and feel what she did was wrong, then break up now. Otherwise, you should look into counseling. Update. I took a long hike today to clear my mind. It was good to be back in nature with no distractions. This is what I've determined. My girlfriend does love glamour and the finer things in life, as said in one of the comments. But she also has a huge heart and is very generous with her family and friends. She could have taken that money and stashed it away, but she bought gifts instead. I believe her when she said she got wrapped up in the free money and got in way over her head. You know how that is. You keep one secret, then another, and pretty soon, you are leading a double life. I don't have a solid answer whether I'm going to stay in this relationship, but I am going to give our relationship a chance to heal from all the lie telling. The deeper issue is whether I will ever be enough for her. Our final comment is from the impinchous brother who says, Wow, this is a tough one because my relationship boundaries are different than yours. I'm a little bit more liberal in my thinking and I try not to own my partner or judge the choices my girlfriend made for herself. I do have more of a problem with the fact that she lied rather than the money side of things. I'm guessing she wasn't getting any satisfaction from this side hustle other than the money. It sounds like it was probably just a way to make money with minimal effort. That being said, if it's something that doesn't sit right with you in terms of your own relationship boundaries, then that's a perfectly okay thing to feel. Some people do different kinds of compromising work. And yes, that is subjective, because they have partners who aren't bothered by it. 
The takeaway in all of this is that if one partner chooses to do this type of work, it has to be communicated and agreed upon openly with the other partner. She didn't do that with you, and then flips it around and tells you that you are rigid and uptight. It's now your problem and not hers. Clever manipulation technique. I think it's called deflection. Bottom line, you now know more than you did a week ago about your girlfriend. So, if something like this or something similar pops up again in your relationship, you, my friend, have been warned. Hey, Code Karen community. What would you do in this situation? I'd love to hear your comments. See you in the next story.